it's Wolf with another tutorial. So this time I'm going to be showing how to make really simple SWF Swift files in Shotcut. This is mainly going to be like another Club Penguin single player related tutorial, but I'm sure you could probably use this to make Swift files for other games and stuff like that. I did this in a video before, but that video wasn't really a tutorial, so I want to make a specific tutorial for this. Shotcut is a video editing program, so this is not like the perfect way to make any sort of Swift file because you can't actually do any interactivity with it or anything, but it's a good way to just convert a video video or a photo into a Swift file if you need a video or photo in that format. So it's not perfect, but Shotcut is a free program and Adobe Flash is for one, still pretty expensive to buy, even though they don't really make it anymore. I think Adobe Illustrator or something like that also can do Swift files, but it's expensive to use the official Flash stuff. And also Flash stuff is unsupported a bunch of places. And there's there's a whole ton of reasons why it's a pain to work directly in Flash, so it's helpful that Shotcut also can sort of make these types of files. So first, we need to open up Shotcut, and then I also, I'm going to be doing a photo in this video, but you can also use actual videos, I think, and Shotcut can also open Swift files. When it does, it opens them as a video, so again, they're not really interactive when you do it that way. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to add a video track, and then we're going to go grab the file that we had. I wonder what I was working on before. Oh, just the the, <laughs> the Vanderbilt video. Um, Where is it? Let's see. I think desktop games, Club Penguin stuff. Okay, so I have this example picture. I just drew this in paint.net really, really quickly. You guys might notice it's a weird resolution. If you're making something original for this, you should try to make it in, in well, if you're making something for, for Club Penguin single player, you should do this. If you're making this, if you're using this for some other game or anything, this might not be accurate. Club Penguin, at least some forms of Club Penguin, some versions of it, the resolution of the game was 760 by 480. So if you're going to do a Swift file and you're doing it like originally, like you're making it yourself like I did with this picture, you might wanna just start with that resolution so things don't get squished and stuff. Now, you can play around with like the resolution and some of the other settings I mentioned in this video because I think you can probably change things around to get different forms of Swift file. But this is just the very specific settings that I got to work with for me before. So anyway, we have put the picture into the video. It doesn't really matter how long it is because Swift files, at least in Club Penguin loop. And now we just need to do the settings. So I actually have this little list here that I made. I'll probably pop it up on the screen too. I'll type up a version of it and put it up there. But you're going to need to use specific settings to get this to work properly. So over in presets, we're going to go all the way down to legacy and then click on flash. And then next in our format, we're going to want SWF file, so it's all the way down here, SWF, Swift, and then codec, we leave as FLV, um, audio, I'm not sure if you need to disable audio or not, but I did before and it worked, so I would say disable audio, but again, that's the thing you can probably play around with and it might work with leaving audio in. I think the main things here are just having it on flash in the format as Swift, but for Club Penguin stuff in particular, these are the, the settings that I used. So over in resolution, we're gonna go ahead and change that again to 760 by 480. Hopefully it gets rid of these black bars, but it might just squish the video again anyway. Um, and then frames per second. This is another thing that might vary depending on what you're actually making your Swift for, but Club Penguin seems to run at 24 frames a second. I read that online somewhere forever ago, and it has worked for previous Swifts that I made. I think even ones with motion, so that should be all the settings. So next thing we're going to do is just hit export file. I'm going to go ahead and export it to where I have the picture. Now, the important thing is, one of well, one of the important steps is right here. Normally, when you export a file, you don't need to add the extension on or anything. But for some reason, when you do this in Shotcut, you actually need to manually add the .swf ending to your file. I don't know why it does that, but if you don't do that, it just will export as just like generic file, and it won't have a file format, and it won't work. So now we're going to hit Save and it should only take a couple seconds to export because this is a really small video. Well, not even a video, it's just picture. So, now we can exit out of this, and then that's that's popping up as a Chrome file just because I had used to use Chrome to open SWF files, but since Chrome doesn't actually work with 
flash stuff anymore. It doesn't work. So we're going to go ahead open with Shotcut just to show you guys that it works because Shotcut can open Swift files. And so can like the flash projector and other things like that. But um, go ahead and ignore that. And as you guys can see, there it is. It's uh, loaded in as a Swift file. So that's how you make Swift files. I'm going to have other tutorials and stuff. And I think I already have other tutorials probably that show you actually like what to do with Swift files and things like that. But that's just how to make them. So you can use that for Club Penguin single player. I'm sure you can use that for other Flash games, stuff like that. It's not perfect. Like I said, you can't really make anything interactive but if you just need like a video or a picture that's in that file format it's really really useful so anyway thanks for watching see you guys in other videos and bye bye